Hello spooky loves, welcome back to another video here on Pumpkin and Gray, or welcome if you're new here. For today's video, I have a Dollar Tree Ross and I believe one or two items from Michaels to share with you guys in a haul. I am so excited for these items because you guys know I love Dollar Tree at Halloween time and I found some really cute things, even though my Dollar Tree has probably like three more aisles of stuff to put out, so there will be more of these coming, but this is what I've gotten from them so far. Also, quickly, my light as a feather, stiff as a board t-shirt here that I am obsessed with is from the Forever Never. I will have her Instagram linked down in the description box. I did talk about this in a previous video, but I don't know which one is going up first, so I wanted to acknowledge it because it is so good. It is so precious. And this is um, my Beware the Autumn People necklace from Ludlow Luna, I believe is the shop. I always want to say it differently. I'll have that linked below as well. Okay, I'm going to just start grabbing because I have a lot to share today. So the first two things are just so cute. They have these rub on transfers at the Dollar Tree and I had to obviously get them because they're just so vintage looking. I thought they were like, I don't know, they just look like old school Halloween to me. I'm really excited for them. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I actually thought about stealing the idea from the back and getting some sort of like a wooden crate like this and doing the transfers on there and maybe putting it on our desk in the living room where Glenn and I work and just like spooking it out a little bit for the holidays. So they're really, really cute. Like the bat, I don't know, something about their little expressions, I just love. So I grabbed these, I will find a place to put them. And then I also got these stickers mostly for Salem Girl because she is four and she loves stickers and I just thought these were like really cute ones. They're just like perfect for her age. I love the little ghost dressed up as the vampire. <laughs> Super cute, the little like cupcake. She'll just love these so I'll figure out when to give them to her but they'll be fun for like a fall day craft moment. Okay, next I got the Color Your Own Ornaments. I get these every year. Last year, if you were around, I got the Ghost and I loved them, um, but I went with the Jack-O-Lanterns this year because I am doing a Jack-O-Lantern theme in my living room. I don't know what I'm gonna use these for yet, but I figured I'll figure it out. They're a dollar, actually like a dollar 25. Everything's like 125 at the Dollar Tree now. I figured the kids can color some of them, of course, since that's kind of what they're for, but you guys know I love the Dollar Trees, wooden pieces like this, because I do wood in the house, so I keep a lot of these things plain. So I'll probably let them color some and then keep some for something to be determined. I also got this cute little DIY hanging skeleton. I just could not pass this up. I think he is so stinking cute. I'm gonna take him out of the bag. I actually think I got two of them, because right in front of me, is my like washer and dryer closet area. Yes, in the kitchen, small house problem. You can't see it though. It's behind the closet doors. But anyways, the two doors have my two gold handles that match like my hardware. And I thought how cute to put one on each. And again, just leave them wood because that'll go the best with my house. So here he is in all his glory. Look how stinking cute he is. All the way down to his little bony toes. So one on either side and it's gonna be really precious. I used to do the bride on one side and the Frankenstein on the other and they were the same little wooden pieces but they were solid but I just like loved the little movement on him. He's so stinking cute, it's like he's dancing around. Again, you will see everything and where I put it in my Decorate For Me videos. My son's birthday party is this weekend and as soon as that's done, I am moving on to decorating for Halloween. I cannot wait. Okay, I always get some of these like color your own little things, these little wooden pieces. My kids love them, particularly my two youngest ones. So I got this one that says trick or treat with the little pumpkins down there. So cute. And then I got this one, my favorite one, the haunted house. I just love how there's a little moon and stars up there. These are just so easy on like days where you're, it's raining or whatever, your kids are just bored pop on a Halloween movie, pop some popcorn, hand these out. That's what I tend to do, make it into like more of a thing. Okay, next I had to get these little glass bottles. They're like little apothecary jars, if you will. I just love that they have these at the Dollar Tree now. I thought they were so beautiful. I have no plan or rhyme or reason yet, but they can go anywhere. I mean, I can sprinkle them. I have like a Lazy Susan that I decorate. They can go anywhere. It says Wool of Bat Magic, Witch's Brew, Trimmed Spider Hair, and Unfiltered Poison. They're just adorable. And I love that they have like real cork tops. So 
I had to get these. They've been all over the internet. I think they're freaking precious. Okay, next I got two sets of these jack-o'-lantern lights. If you watched my haul, I'm sure you were like, she's gonna buy them since I'm doing jack-o'-lantern themes. They look like that. I'm hoping that they work. Again, they're $1.25, so, but I'm hoping that they produce some good light. I need to get some batteries and plug them in. This one's actually already open, so. I thought, look how cute, that they would just add a nice little touch to my mantles since I'm gonna have so many jack-o'-lanterns. That Target haul, you saw all the light up jack-o'-lanterns. Perfect little touch. I got twinkle lights, as you know, and I ordered more twinkle lights, so I'll put them out, and these can just kind of be sprinkled throughout, because this is all you get, like, in each pack. You know, there's not, like, dozens of them, so just kind of sprinkle them throughout the regular twinkle lights. That's the plan. Okay, yeah, here's my other little skeleton that I told you about, so he will go on the other door. And then I also got one more of the haunted houses because I just loved those. And then I grabbed these little bones. I don't know where, I'm not a big glitter fan, but for some reason I thought these were so cute. And I kind of thought they might look good like on the Lazy Susan with the apothecary jars. I don't know, I, I could end up doing something totally different with them, but I just thought they were really, really adorable. And I'm sure the little like crystallized white glitter it's gonna turn me off of them immediately when I open it. But maybe I'll find like a cauldron. I have several different cauldrons of different sizes. Like I have little ones from Salem. Maybe I'll just fill it with bones and sit it out somewhere. They were just so cute and I love white in my house. So snagged those. And then for my four favorite items and then I'll move on to Michaels and Ross. These vintage signs. Now I went on Dollar Tree, their website, I should just say. I'm hoping my Dollar Tree comes out with way more because there is a heavy, heavy influence in like the nostalgic vintage feel happening this year for them. And online there was like 20 other things that I wanted. There was like yard stakes that were so vintage looking. There are posters that are vintage looking. Um, I want all of it. So I'm sure more is coming and we'll do another walkthrough of my Dollar Tree as soon as they put more out. But when I saw these, I was like, they fall right in line with the other items that I'm talking about. These are little DIY mask stakes. So you have the little kitty cat here, just so vintage and precious. I love her so much. And then we have Frankenstein. Look how cute. Oh my God, I love these. The kids can decorate them. I may end up getting more. I can't decide what I want to do with them like in my house, but I don't really want the kids to decorate all the ones that I have either. So I might just pick up a few more so the kids can decorate some. But again, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I love them just left alone as wood. So I have to figure this out. Let me know if you have any good ideas of what I can do with them. I also have the witch, which is so stinking precious. Like I die, she is so cool looking. I think Glenn might be home. Here he comes. So the witch is absolutely adorable. I love her little wart, like the little cutout for her nose. There's just something so cool about the details, like the buckle on her hat. It's just so good. And then the last one is probably my favorite. This is the Dracula, obviously. Look how cute he is, his fangs, his ears. They have these every single year and I've shared them here on my channel, but they've never had this like vintage feel to them before. That's the difference is like the drawing of the little expressions. They just have never done that. So they were way more on the plain side before. When I saw these ones, I had to get them. And like I said, I'm probably gonna get more so the kids can decorate some. Let me know what I should do with these, like where in my house I should put them. I could even take the little stakes off the back and just put them somewhere as decor, but I haven't quite decided yet. Okay, the only item I have in this current haul to share from Michaels is this adorable Be Our Ghost sign. I got this for Sierra. So Sierra's gonna be visiting, so we're gonna figure this out, but um, Sierra from the Sierra Ween on Instagram. I'm sure you all know who I'm talking about. She was actually gonna come visit me this past weekend. We had it all planned out. And then Bear got strep and it was bad. And he was running like 103, 104 fever. He had to be rushed to the doctors. There was a shortage on amoxicillin, so I had to track it down and it took him like an extra day or two to get it. So he was contagious for longer. Anyways, it was a whole to do and she couldn't come. So if you see the Sierra, 
It'll be waiting for you when you arrive, but I did want to share it because how cute if you're having guests. I have like something to go with it that I'm not going to share because when she comes back, I want her to be surprised by that. But this little sign is going to be sitting with it and I just thought it was so stinking precious. It was $10 at Michael's. If you have anybody visiting or in your guest bathroom, whatever, be our ghost. I just thought it was adorable. They even had that bigger one that I've shared during the walkthrough of Michael's. That might have said be our ghost too. I think it did. It's like the big black sign with the neon ghost on it, but it was precious. And then from Ross, I only got one thing. It was $4.99. Now, I am not a huge Ray Dunn fan as a whole. I have a few pieces. I've hauled them in the past and I've told you how I'm going to turn them around. Um, like I have a few of the mugs that have like the toppers that I love. So I just turn the mug around so you can't see the word, but instead it's like a black mug with a ghost on top or whatever. So this one I actually don't mind though. This color was so unique to me. They always have the really bright orange, but this is like a very muted, almost peachy kind of orange. That obviously says Fright Night and I really liked the words too instead of like boo, which there's nothing wrong with anything Ray Dunn if it's your thing. I actually think it's adorable. I just don't always love it for my house and my style, but Fright Night I can get on board with. Just like the picture that I got last year says like poison on it or something and I thought that was kind of cool. Like I like the little creepier sayings instead. But I also got this because of the lid. You all know my obsession with like wood pieces in my house and this little spider and spider web topper. It's kind of hard to see, but the middle is a spider. Um, I was obsessed with and it just sits on top. I just absolutely love this. This is what sold me on the mug. It was $4.99, such a good deal. Anyway, sorry, Sally needed me, but this is like the absolute reason that I bought this. But paired with the color, I just thought it was really, really cute for my house. So I love this piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of random haul. Let me know what your favorite item was down in the comments, please. I love talking to you in the comments. It's what helps build this like community that we have going here. Please hit the subscribe button if you have not actually subscribed. It is free and easy to do so. You just have to log in, hit the button, and remember to hit the like button if you liked it as well. I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye.